sky with lead to clear spells and here's the next change coming our way. We have a weather front coming in from the North Sea. As it collides with cold air, it will readily turn to snow. We do have a yellow Met Office warning for snow for parts of eastern and southern Scotland. That's in place from uh, during the early hours of Friday and into Friday morning. Some difficult driving conditions, as you can imagine. Snow over higher ground, so higher routes will be affected, but we'll also see some snow to lower levels as well. As that band of rain sweeps in, we'll start to see the snow level rising, becoming confined to the higher ground. A drier spell for a time, but a windier day with a keen northeasterly making it too cold. And we'll see no rain moving in behind the Oh, a well, good morning, folks. Hopefully, you can see me. And on today's adventure, I've come out looking for some snow, and I think. I think I found it. <laughs> this is the first major uh, snowfall of the season. I have been out in the snow already. You might have seen that video already. Way back in September, actually, there was maybe three or four centimetres when I went for a hike up high in Cairngorm. But since then, it's only really been dustings I've got. So this is this is lovely. It's good. I've been up to my knees in bits already, but it's been drifting, and I've not long left the car. So it's looking promising. I've got my snowshoes with me. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm really, really hoping that, uh, that I get to use them a bit further up. But uh, the forecast isn't bad. It was actually looking better further west. But you know what? There's not as much snow falling further west because the, the front that came in during the week was in from the east. So these eastern hills, which I think really come into their own in the winter, are the place to be. So let's crack on a bit further and see if I, uh, see if I have to put the snowshoes on. Right, let's go. <laughs> The snow had been lying from when I'd left the car. The, the snow level was pretty low. And it, yeah, I was really quite excited because the snow in Scotland can be quite transient nowadays. I think going back a few years, you were always guaranteed some good good snow cover in the Scottish mountains for a good set of the winter. But at the last few years, it's been a bit more transient. So I was uh, fully wanting to take to take the most out of today's experience and enjoy the snow. It wasn't looking too bad, although the forecast had suggested it was going to be pretty cloudy and claggy for the day. Whew, I'm a bit further up now. As you can probably hear, it's a wee bit blowy. And the snow's getting deeper and deeper. It's not too bad here. But yeah, it's starting to clear. You're not seeing it behind me, but the... Uh, the summit that I'm going up is starting to uh, clear a cloud, which is good. And you can see behind me, down the glen, you might recognise that from a recent video. Uh, so fingers crossed, it's a north-easterly, north-north-easterly breeze, so that's why there's a bit more cloud coming over here. But yeah, it's so nice to get out into this crisp, crisp winterness. It's lovely. Anyway, in just a minute, you'll see me going over the hill and you'll probably recognise where I am from there. But so far, so good. Lovely, love the snow. <laughs> Past the ski centre I went, and as you'd expect, the higher up the hill I got, the deeper and the whiter the snow became. It was fantastic, but yeah, my, my boots were starting to sink deeper and deeper into the snow, and in certain bits, as I said before, it was it was up to my knees. So it was time to to stop, get the rucksack off my shoulder, and yeah, try out the snowshoes and get the snowshoes on my feet. I was hoping that these were going to aid my progress and stop my legs sinking into those deep drifts and perhaps progress my speed up the hill to this Munro. So snowshoes on and I instantly felt the difference and my stride was, was widened and I wasn't too concerned about losing my foot down the snow and trapping it between rocks that lay hidden beneath. And it was it was just a lovely day now. The the um the clouds were yeah, showing signs that they might break up. I was kind of keeping my fingers crossed. 
although the hill that I was aiming for was still it was still coming and going under that uh, level of cloud. So, yeah, my hopes were yeah, intermittent at this stage. I wasn't sure whether the cloud was going to win or whether the sun was going to win. Oh, I'll tell you, I'm glad. I'm glad I've got my uh, snowshoes for sure. You can see the the way the, the deep the deepness or the depth of the snow here, just the top of the fence, which is all lovely and rhymed up. And yeah, if I didn't have my snowshoes, I'd be uh, taking a lot longer. But it's beautiful now. I can see the summit where I'm going to. And I'm in Glen Shee. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's amazing. I was uh, here very recently with my wife. Uh, you might have seen that video and we saw oh, loads of hairs and you could see them sticking out like a sore thumb because there was only a very slight skimming of snow in the summit and the, I was saying there should be snow here at this time and a bit disappointed but yeah less than seven days later we're in a winter wonderland so hopefully the hairs are, uh, are happy too <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll be a bit more camouflaged but yeah as the, as the morning's gone on, the clouds breaking up, I can see north of the Cairngorms, I can see that the summit's clear now, so this is shaping up to be a rather rather good day, but it can all change in a very quickly up here, so I'm not counting my chickens yet. Ah, right. oh, fantastic. Right, let's get up and head up towards the summit. Once I was up and above the ski toes, I got a better view of the, the top that I was going up and it's Glass Mall, which is one of the higher peaks in the range, sitting at 1068 metres. And the last we pull up onto its rounded dome is, is relatively steep and I was keen to try and keep on the, the, the deeper snow and the less steep terrain which saw me zigzagging up the final slopes. And, as I was heading up, the, the cloud was coming and going. It was skirting, skirting round the top of this big dome, a bit like a wig on a bald head. Not, not something I've tried yet, but you know, there's still time. <laughs> but yeah, as I got up, I started to get little breaks and I could see north to the Cairngorm shining white behind me. And soon the level eased and I was on that dome-like plateau heading for the summit of the first Monroe Glass Mall. I didn't hang around too long on the summit, but the, the cloud was still coming and going and I couldn't see my second objective, so I took a bearing and headed off down towards Monroe number two. Well, I've just come off the summit. I went up there, there was a few folk there, so I didn't really do too much, to, too many pieces to camera, but it's just lovely. It's, a, it's definitely a winter wonderland up here. And I'm just heading to the south peak, like I said, I think it's called, oh god, I can't remember the name right now, Craig Lake, or, or Cairn I can't remember. <laughs> Anyway, I've, it's just popped out of the cloud down there, so I'm following some bearings down to it. Uh, it's a bit lower down than Glass Mall, but the cloud's kind of sweeping in and sweeping past and off the summit. I don't know if I can turn around, it'll probably be far too bright behind me now. But um, it's just lovely, you can see over here now, the, the rest of the uh, the Grampian Mountains coated in this lovely white blanket of snow. It's absolutely glorious. You can just about see my second objective through the mist there. Anyway, it's just, uh, it's just fabulous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on down here a bit further, and uh, get to the summit of the second one, which is just coming out of the clouds now. <laughs> There's some good time, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. It's just over yonder, and I'm heading down here onto the ridge, and the ridge sweeps up and over onto the top there. You now maybe another hour. But, uh, yeah, it's good fun. Fantastic! Wow, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's get going. Oh. Coming off the summit that was in the leeward side and the snow was just perfect for snowshoeing. I was striding down to the wards of Bilac. It was just lovely, absolutely lovely. And by this point, 
the cloud the cloud was clearing rapidly and those blue skies were starting to take over. Fantastic. Right behind me over to my right, that's the summit I'm headed for, that's the second Monroe of the day and uh, I've dropped down a wee bit, this, this Monroe is a lot uh, smaller, not a lot smaller but it's a good bit smaller than Glass Mile where I was so the snow cover down here isn't quite as good but you can see I've still got my uh, <laughs> snowshoes on now I'm just being lazy, I should really take them off but what I'm doing is I'm sticking to the uh, leeward side where the snow drifts have built up on the side of this dike here so it's allowing me to <laughs> continue because uh, there might be a bit more snow as I go up here, but I'm not sure. I might take them off in a wee while, but uh, it's just absolutely glorious. Coming down off Glass Mall there, it was perfect for snowshoeing. I was just striding down, walking on, felt like I was walking on air. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you know what it's like or not, but snowshoeing in the right conditions is just fabulous. At this moment in time, <laughs> it's not quite the right conditions, but about half an hour ago, it was absolutely fantastic. So, and as you can see, the clouds cleared, the sun's come out. It's just fantastic. I'm going to get going now and I'll report back on the top of this hill. Let's go. As I headed up the second Monroe, the, yeah, the snow conditions varied. This, this side was exposed to the wind, so there were certain pockets which were nice and deep and perfect for snowshoeing. But there were other areas which were wind scoured. And, and that's the thing about snow in Scotland. It, it's not often you get perfect, perfect conditions for snowshoeing. Sometimes, uh, or usually after a heavy dump of snow early in the season, like, like this one, it can be perfect. Anyway, I could see towards the summit there was more of a rocky rockiness to the terrain and uh, but the, the snow was a bit more scoured by the wind, so I decided to take the, the snowshoes off. And you can see the benefits of having snowshoes because as soon as I took them off, I was sinking down to just below my knees. Oh, I've taken them off because the last bit's a bit rocky. <laughs> oh man, check that out. Let's go. Last wee bit. Come back for them in a minute. There were a few ups and downs, and on the downs in the leeward side, uh, I still encountered some deep snow, but I could see the summit now. It wasn't too far away, and I was soon going to be sitting on top of it, enjoying the views. Oh, it's a bit more rock up here. I'm, I'm kind of glad I left my snowshoes down at the last bit just before it got rocky and steep. But uh, yeah, I'm not far away, literally about five metres away from the summit of the second hill. And it's lovely. <laughs> the, the, the days just turned out better than expected. The weather forecast suggested it was going to be foggy and cloudy today, but thankfully it's not. It's absolutely brilliant. So let's just crack on a wee bit further. I'll get to the summit and report back there. Should be there very soon. Oh, here we go. The summit at last. Oh, I'll just take my backpack off. Ooh. Wow. Cold. In fact, there's no wind there. I don't know if you can see me. Hopefully you can see me. There's no wind, but it's lovely. Um, and this summit is, a, oh God, what's the height? About 980, 990 metres. So it's about 100 metres lower than Glass Mile. Um, Craig Lichich, I think it's pronounced. But although, don't <laughs> quote me on that. But this is just fantastic. It's just been a super, super day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe skirt around the side of the hill to get back. But the view's now over to the Cairngorms. They're basked, basked in sunshine. And even down to the south, I can see the Lomond Hills in Fife and past my house in Perth. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, quick bite to eat here. And then, uh, yeah, get cracked back, back to the snowshoes. Get them on and then head back along to... Uh, yeah, to the ski centre and back to the car. But this is fabulous. Woo! After sitting on the top of Craig Ligyach, it was, it was time to go. I must admit, I sat up there for a while because the wind had just died right down and the views were, as you can see, pretty good. But I had to head back and uh, I headed off the, the rocky part or the, the slabby part of the hill and was soon back at the snowshoes and it was time to get those on 
and I was really looking forward to the descent because going uphill in snowshoes is, is okay, it can speed up your progress, but the real fun in my experience is heading down, heading downhill on nice easy gradients with snowshoes on. And I knew further down the hill, round about the ski centre, the conditions were perfect for snowshoeing, so I, I headed on back. conditions I've had today and I must I must say even with the snowshoes on you have to be wary these these two hills in summer conditions and in the summer are perfect for beginners nice nice easy not too much ascent or distance but when there's a coating of snow even in these tracking conditions you can add an hour two hours or even double the time to, to go around them never underestimate the effects that a wee bit of snow can have on times and distances and all that stuff anyway Another fabulous adventure had. Stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you on the next adventure.